for most women, their hair is a source of confidence. The loss of hair for such women means the loss of their self-esteem and beauty. Ajwa Atakakra being suffers from alopecia, which causes hair loss. It's components of a woman's physical appearance. It depicts the femininity of a woman, identity, freedom and liberty. Ama Duncan has hair shorts and has remained like that for about five years due to varied reasons. I like it when women do Brazilian hair or the Peruvian and it's flowing. It's beautiful, trust me. But I ever asked of the price and it was like $500 just to get the hair. I was like, no way. Unfortunately, some women have not had the opportunity to choose different styles they want to rock or what to do to their hair. Sorry. Adra started growing bald from age eight. Her numerous visits to the hospital and intense research by her father finally revealed she was suffering from alopecia totalis and alopecia universalis. The main one was the hair. And then eventually just noticed, because I hadn't hit puberty as I was like eight years, so I didn't have the puberty and the, the pubic hairs. And then the eyebrows, I remember, I just remember, at some point, I just had a very smooth face, no hair, nothing. Alopecia totalis causes complete baldness of the scalp, while universalis causes complete hair loss over the entire body. Ajwa suffers both conditions, so has lost hair on her eyebrow, nostrils, eyelids, private parts, and has completely gone bald. She says she could not bear the thought of losing her hair, coupled with the initial rejection from her own family who could not ascertain what was wrong and feared it could be contagious. When they started, they were even afraid to share the same bed with me because they thought it was wrong and they didn't know what it was. How can you all be there and you just start losing your hair overnight? It didn't make sense to them, so they were scared to even share a bed with me, so that was tough. The condition started when she was in class 3, but had to conceal it throughout her years in junior high school due to the mockery from friends. Today, Ajwa wants the world to know that a woman's hair does not define who she is as much as she tries to cover up with makeup and recaps, something she has done over the years. Her older sister, Ifwa Ado, whom she says has been her pillar of support, says growing up with a sister like that has been scary. There was a point in time I felt ashamed for being scared. You know, when you all started, we didn't know what it was and um, we were all afraid it was contagious. We are all girls. Nobody wanted to live without hair. You know how girls we are with our hair. And um, so I think when we found out that it wasn't contagious, okay, we got to accept it. But it was, it was hard seeing her go through it all. Friday, January 17, marked Adra's first day at school as a teacher, where her students were to find out about her condition. So there's no way that I'm going to let this thing stop me from being who I want to be. I'm being there because I want you to be encouraged. It is estimated that one in 4,000 people suffer from alopecia universalis worldwide. Dr. Chris Ade is a physician specialist at the Trust Hospital. Unfortunately, I would say that there are no known or specific risk factors such that you know that a, B, and C are the risk factors, and I can do one, two, three to prevent them. The hairs in the nose act like a sieve to also get rid of some of this particulate matter and uh, to protect against the harsh weather and all that. So sometimes if it's really affected, you can apply certain lotions just to prevent cracking and all that. As much as a woman's hair continues to remain a symbol of femininity, Times have changed, and that ideology has changed over the years. Ajwa Kakra Obing hopes to start a campaign to help empower women going through similar conditions.